It's a returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka J. Robert Trappenheimer. It's time for another Q&A video, where I take questions directly from the viewers. It's a form of fan interaction, which I love, once a month. Tyler John Lewinsky asks, Do you think CrossFitters should be allowed to serve in the military? Of course not, they're mentally disturbed. They identify as something they're not, meaning athletes. Between that and the fact that their wads reveal suicidal tendencies, CrossFitters have no place on the battlefield whatsoever. Eric Dangberry asks, Are you into raw denim? I was on the Momotaro page and I noticed that you follow them. I am, but because of my job, I pretty much only get to wear jeans Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I used to have a pair of Momotaro jeans, but I sold them because I couldn't fit in them anymore. Shrinkage, of course. I've had to pare down my collection to two pairs. In the cold months, I wear 21 ounce Ironhearts, and in the warmer months, I wear 16 ounce Edwins. Those brands are pretty pricey. There are cheaper raw denim brands out there. Maybe I'll save that for another Q&A. The Beard That Got Away, I can't find my beard either, asks, What do you think about Lee Priest? Side note, what do you think about the current beef with Lee and Sean Ray? Thanks, Elge, aka Trapunzel. Lee Priest is a fucking savage. I remember he did a radio or podcast interview with Janoy, the piss vader, and took the piss out of him. Janoy said that he was natural, and Lee Priest said, we can tell. Then he compared him to a cinder block at the bottom of a river or some shit. It was utter destruction. I left a comment on that video, something to the effect of, I'm actually scared of how savage Lee Priest is. And I don't normally say that about other people. Aside from the fact that he's a monster on the microphone, I don't follow his career, so no further comment. As for his beef with Sean Ray, I don't follow bodybuilding. I'm sure Nick's strength and power will talk about it after his 15th hedgehog bathing video. Jason McDonough 837 asks, What's the scariest thing that you have seen in a gym? It would definitely be the mentally handicapped person I once saw overhead pressing, without clips on the sides. When I say mentally handicapped, I'm not talking about slight, slight, you can't even see it, I don't even think it's like 1% of autism. He used to talk to himself and blurt out random shit whenever anyone addressed him. Anyway, like I said, he was overhead pressing without the clips on, and needless to say, he was using dog shit form. I didn't film it because I never shit where I eat, and I just made sure to stay away from him because I didn't want to get Kevin Ogard. He didn't end up hurting anybody or himself, but it's just a matter of time before he discovers Watts. Steve Famalam asks, What are your thoughts on Street Fighter V being easy mode compared to Street Fighter IV? SF5 strictest combos are three frame, blah blah blah. Street Fighter V is kind of a watered-down game, but that's just what happens with games over time. They get easier to appeal to a wider audience. There was input leniency with Street Fighter IV also, but it still did well as a competitive game. Even though it's easier to scrub out some combos in SF5, in the end, the better player usually wins. Besides, Street Fighter V will never be a true watered-down piece of shit for retards until DSP does well at it. Miguel Dos Mil asks, Why does my dad do CrossFit? Well, you're assuming the gender, first of all, because with a crossfitter, you can never really tell. See first question of this video. And second, he's probably doing it so that he can get injured or incapacitated so that he can get away from you and your mom. Your dad doesn't love you. That's why he does crossfit. Josh Utre asks, Have you ever thought about moving your channel towards the political arena? I thought the video with the Antifa fucktards was hilarious. You and about 10,000 other people. And I think your humor would be fun to see with politics, no matter your personal beliefs. I will address political topics, but not very often, for a few reasons. First, I'm going to be outranked by so many channels that revolve around political topics. I'm going to have a hard time showing up on the first page of search results, or in the suggested videos sidebar. The more of those videos I make, the slower my channel's going to grow. In addition to this reduced visibility, political videos are generally deemed advertiser unfriendly, which means I'm taking my free time to make 8 buck off each video. I don't take Patreon money, so I just address politics when there's nothing going on in fitness. Finally, I think political videos, or political roast videos, have been done to death. That's kind of why I stopped doing Gym Idiots. Not saying I won't go back to Gym Idiots, but I just got sick of talking about kipping pull-ups and round-back deadlifts all the time. Likewise, there are only so many ways I can make fun of people screaming re before I want to stab myself in the neck. That having been said, I think I can talk about political topics if I can come up with jokes that haven't been told before. There's definitely a delicate balancing test going on here, but I'd rather get the balance wrong than upload nothing at all, so send me your suggestions, fitness or otherwise. I'm sure I'll figure something out.
If Robert Frank can go from trolling CrossFit to saying the same five catchphrases in his car, then anything's possible. George Van de Kamp's Fish Fillets asks, Favorite RTS? Don't give a predictable blueby cunt answer, you non blueby cunt cunt. Wow. By the way, a blueby cunt is just an anonymous troll. An amateur, because with a few exceptions, nobody who trolls anonymously is any good. Anyway, my favorite RTS is probably Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness, because it was the first RTS I ever played. I had to upgrade my computer to at least 16 megabytes of RAM to be able to play it. My predictable answer is Brood War. I played Terran because of Flash. OG 50 Cal, which I assume is his favorite ammo to craft. What should be my next pre-workout? You can't pick anything from the 5% nutrition line. I wasn't going to, fuckhead. People keep asking me this question and I keep telling them that I don't take a pre-workout, but if I have to recommend something, I would recommend just buying the pre-workout ingredients separately and mixing them yourself. So buy the caffeine, the creatine, the citrulline malate, and maybe the beta alanine. You'll save a shit ton of money that way. You can buy all the ingredients on Amazon through my kit page, which is in the description box. Salvatore Mart 11 is how I'm going to say that. When I was in my early 20s, I was a obnoxious, self-absorbed asshole like the current aesthetics crop. But I grew out of it. Do you think that these current bros possessive have a chance of growing out of that phase? I doubt it, yo. The best way to deal with obnoxious, self-absorbed assholes is to make fun of them until they cry. A lot of people, myself included, make fun of these twinks for being so waifish that they swim in a size schmedium t-shirt. Eventually they'll get sick of hearing it. They'll also get sick of bumping into women and hearing the women ask if they're okay. And guys like Tyrone the fitness addict will eventually get their anorexic asses beaten in public for walking around shirtless. One way or another, they'll grow out of it. I am Basketball Jones, my favorite Natty Space Jam track, asks, Who are some of your favorite or noteworthy comedians? My favorite comedian of all time is George Carlin. I also like uh, Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr, Jeff Ross, Bill Murray, and Bob Newhart. I'm leaving out a bunch of names, but a lot of deadpan, a lot of insult comedy. Chief Fit Troll. Oh, you're a troll. I'd better not make fun of you. What is your favorite Instagram troll page? Is QSG dead? Quarter Squad Gang started banning people for calling Quarter Squatters retards. It was bizarre. I wanted to know if they got hacked, which was kind of tongue in cheek, and then I got blocked too, even though I didn't use their fucking trigger word. But apparently you can run an online vigilante group like a fucking Catholic school. So Chief Fit Troll's being a cheeky cunt because he knows that I've been recommending his page instead. Quarter Squad Gang isn't dead, it's just dead to me. I get access to the same videos they repost and I've made more than enough ad revenue off the videos I ripped from their page, so I don't need them anyway. Nick Guthrie asks, do you train abs? Why or why not? A fitness question. Let me try and answer this without Googling. But yes, I do train abs. I do heavy front squat holds and heavy farmer's walks. For the front squat holds, I take over 110% of my max, unrack it and hold it as long as I can. Farmer's walks are simple as fuck. You take the heaviest dumbbells you can find, depending on how shot your hands are, and walk up and down the length of the gym several times. For the front squat holds, I try to increase the weight or the time, and for the farmer's walks, I try to increase the weight or the number of trips. And I still carry a week's worth of groceries home from the store. That's a heavy farmer's walk too. Keyboard Warrior 999 asks, any chance you'll be vacationing next week in Madison, Wisconsin? He's of course referring to the CrossFit Games, which moved from Carson, California. I'm assuming CrossFit moved to Madison, Wisconsin because the summers are more tolerable there and people aren't gonna melt like they did in 2015. Also, the CrossFit events won't be so spread apart, which means that EMTs won't have to drive so far. To finally answer your question, I'm not going to Madison, Wisconsin next week. And even if I did, it wouldn't be a vacation, it would be a business trip. I'll be watching this blood sport at home, wearing my cross shit bad form is the norm t-shirt, which is for sale at infiniteelgintensity.com. Alright, dicktards, time for the lawyering round, let me adjust my glasses a bit. Hamon Estefano asks, would you rather slap box with Rich Piana, or have to coach Vince G to make a video until it's good enough? He didn't say what the video would be about. So it's going to be a video about how to destroy your channel and business relationships. And Vince G will of course get that right on the first try. Non-coachable. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now. Everybody drugs, everybody sometimes. Everybody tries.
as the gizzard hound. 